Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. Two semicircles are located in a square. The radii of the semicircles are 4 and 6, respectively. As shown in this diagram, a line is drawn and tangent at points P and Q of the semicircles. Find the length of PQ. I begin with drawing the red eye of the two semicircles connecting from the center to the point of tangent. And this is how it goes. For the radius of the blue semicircle, I'm going to extend it up to the top part of the square. And this is how it looks like. For now, I'm going to produce another line of PQ and it is parallel to the PQ connecting from the center of the green semicircle up to the point of R. I'm going to add another line connecting from the center to center of the two semicircles. And the next step, I'm going to draw a straight line right from the center of the green semicircle to the bottom of this square here and it is right angle with the side bottom length of the square. For the length of this part, that is exactly 4 unit. Same with the length of this radius of the green semicircle. And for the part that I'm highlighting here, that would be by using 6 units minus the 4 units. And that is exactly 2 units. So I'm going to label this is right angle and this too right angle and for this part as well. The side length of this square is by using twice the radius of the blue semicircle and that is 6 times 2 is equal 12. I'm going to label M1 for the center of the green semicircle and M2 as the center of the blue semicircle. The distance of M1 and M2 is by using the theorem Pythagoras and that is 12 for this length and I'm going to square it up plus 2 square. So the value that I'm going to get here is going to be 148 squared out of it and the value that I get here is 2 times the square root of 37. By referring to the triangle of M1, R, M2, I'm going to find for what is the value of M1, R. So the value of M1, R is again by using the Pythagoras theorem. That would be 2 times the square root of 37 I'm going to square it up minus the value of M2R. Now for the value of M2R I'm going to use 6 as the radius of the blue semicircle plus the radius of the green semicircle which is at 4. So the total of it that would be 10 and square of it. So now the value of M1R that I am getting here is the square root of 48. To make it simpler, M1R is 4 times the square root of 3. Now in our case here, M1R is equal to the line PQ. So the value of the PQ now is 4 square root of 3. And I solve the puzzle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.